Hi everyone, welcome back to my ice yarn haul. It arrived this morning, but I didn't have time to film it before I went to work. Um, I had a house inspection this morning, so it arrived while I was at the house inspection. So I had to go kind of pretty much straight to work. So I didn't really have time to film it this morning. Um, <clears throat> but this is the biggest one I've done. Um, it was like 5.8 kilos of yarn. <laughs> so it wasn't a cheap yarn haul this time. Um, I don't know when I will do another one. Um, I'm waiting to hear back about the house that I looked at this morning. Um, I will hopefully know by the end of the week, but I don't know. I'm just going to kind of see what happens. Um, it's a nice house, but I don't want to kind of get my hopes up. Sorry, there is a bit of hair at the back that's just driving me nuts. Um, I do also have a new addition to my hair. As you see, it has a patch of purple. I wanted to do the whole thing purple and my hairdresser went, mm, yeah, no. Let's just do a patch. I'm like, okay. So, yeah. I came home, I unpacked it, but I didn't have a chance to film before. I had to go straight to work after that. So, here we go. Um, I did try and film this before, but anyway. So, <clears throat> I have a few things that I have. Mostly, most of the stuff I've tried before. Um, I got a two pack of the Saver. So this is the 200 gram ball. You get two of these. Obviously the other one is oops, over there because I had already opened it before. Um, this is the Lilac shade. Um, and I got this to go with the other darker purple that I got last time to do some blankets. I think given how much yarn is in here, I should be able to use one of the lighter colour and one of, excuse me, the darker colour for a blanket. So I should get two blankets out of that. I also, for some baby blankets, got two different colours of the Cakes Aran. I've never had this before, um, but it feels really, really soft. Um... And they're 200 grams each, so I don't know if I will use both cakes for one blanket, uh, but I got the purple shades. And I also got the green shades, so it's got green and blue in it, so I got those two. I also got... <coughs> I can grab it. Um, one of the Magic Glitz. This is the Turquoise. And because I had quite a few of the other colours and I got some Cakes Glitz, I didn't want to go too grey grey with this one. So I just got this, this colour that I've been wanting to try. Oops. So, speaking of glitz cakes I got this one which is it says turquoise but you can see that there's um, purple in there as well I also got the grey I really really like this colour I was like mm, I'm going to have to get that so this one is purple shades, red shades, and these are pretty good. Um, 150 grams, 540 meters. And as you guys know, I was able to get a shawl out of one and a bit of these cakes. And I also got this one. This is red shades, maroon grey and brown shades because the camera, I don't know if the camera will pick it up but there is a bit of brown in the middle of it so I think most of these will be like shawls I may mix some of them in for blankets like maybe use this one and like a solid um, like for this one maybe I'll use this and a solid purple or this and a solid 
red or something. Um, this one, I'd probably use this and a dark grey. Um, yeah, I then I... Got a few <clears throat> colors of the magic light. Um, I don't think I've had any of these colors before. One of them is a new color. Um, this one is light green turquoise. Thought this would be nice for um, a baby blanket um, or even some amigurumi. You know what I might try? I might try doing an amigurumi out of one of these colors. I think that would be cool too. Um, this is the newer colour. I believe this one was the new colour. Um, this is grey shades, but it's got like a copper a copper colour in it. I think this one would be really good as a virus show. I also got this colour, which is burgundy, but it's also got some red, like a lighter red and a darker red in there as well as grey and of course because I've got the magic glitz in the rainbow I thought I should just get the plain rainbow so I've got that I think I might make a monkey those amigurumi monkeys out of this one of these actually I probably need two but never mind anyway then I picked up some one pack of yarn because I want to do something in um, merino just to see if anyone would want to purchase it. Um, so I picked up this color. This is really, really pretty. This is the Merino Batik. It's 30% merino wool, 70% acrylic. There's 100 grams per ball, 400 meters. So this would be awesome for a shawl. Um, this one is, it just says gold yellow. But it has some yellow and some reds and it's just really, really pretty. So, and it says to use a three to four mil hook. So I think this type of yarn would be really nice for an Amber O'Brien shawl. I've got so many patterns of hers. Um, I also got in the same type of yarn two packs of this purple and I plan to actually make oops, a ton of noise an Amber O'Brien shawl for myself in this um, that's why I got two two packs um, there is 400 meters per 100 gram so I think let's have a look and see I think I've got the shawl that I want to make out of that on here. If my iPad will cooperate, thank you. So it takes 830 yards or 700, 750, 759 meters. So <clears throat> easily, easily we'll be able to use um, two balls of this for um, that shawl. And it is the Bella Rose Shawl by Amber O'Brien. Oops. So that is what it looks like. Uh, we actually have a cat named Bella Rose, which is hilarious. Um, and it's just a really nice basic shawl, but it's still pretty. Um, so I'm going to that was the whole point of why I got some of that yarn because I do have quite a few of her shawl patterns that I really need to knit. <clears throat> so, 
so I think this will be really nice and because it has more acrylic than merino I think it will be nice for people who um can sometimes like that I'm gonna have to untangle that when I use it the big not in there um <clears throat> It, it won't irritate people that can be a bit sensitive to wool. Um, I can tolerate alpaca, but only to a certain degree. <clears throat> it starts to really irritate. And mohair? Mm, don't even go there. Ugh, it's the thought that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, someone's like, oh my god, it is mohair. And it's so nice and soft. And I'm like, ugh. Like, you just... You know how some people like they they just don't like sensory things like they don't like touching like slime like certain children just do not like slime they don't like anything with texture i'm like that with mohair i just i can't deal cannot deal with it so i think this will make a really nice shawl so once i finish a few of my crochet projects i will then get onto that <clears throat> And as usual, four in a pack. Most of the yarns that I get, they either have like three or four, three or four, two or four in a pack. Um, <clears throat> like I said, most of this stuff has, I have plans for. Some of it, um, I just wanted, wanted to stock up on some glitch cakes. Um, there was a couple of colours that I wanted to get, but they weren't in stock. Which can be a thing if you've never shopped with ice yarn before. Um, sometimes it takes a while for things to come back in stock, depending on how popular the particular colour is. Um, or you can have something in your cart and then you come back a day or so later to complete your order and you find that it's out of stock. Which, you know, that happens sometimes. Um, but example they had a mixed lot with the Aran cakes and I was going to purchase it um, with a few bits and pieces that I have here um, but it's sold so I had to take it out of my cart and that's why I bought just a couple of packets of it um, <clears throat> and again they didn't have all the colors that I wanted to get so maybe future orders I may pick up a few other colors um, and I would like to have a bit of a <laughs> words I like to have a bit of a variety in the colors that I have um, because just because I like rainbow yarn or purple yarn does not mean that the next person that wants me to make them something will like that so sometimes I'm like oh I like that but will other people like that so you kind of have to think about your customers and who who's gonna buy something that you make in that color but yeah I have so many projects that I need to finish it's crazy um I do have some yarn other yarn coming I picked up some yarn I I got a bag of Milan's yarn and I've been trying to find some more of it because I want to make myself something in this yarn but I didn't quite have enough so I picked up either two or three more balls of it along with a pair of knee, knee needles um so I can try and do a couple of pairs of socks um two at a time socks um I have one pair of needles um, but I wanted to get another set in the hopes that I can knit more socks. That's the plan. Um, I still have my crazy trios and I still like knitting on those. But I wanted to get another pair as well. Um, and I also got... Wait, there was another yarn that I got. Oh yes, I got... Um, you can actually get it on the Ice Yarn website. But I got a skein of their sock yarn to try out. Because um, to buy a four pack of their sock yarn is quite expensive. And I didn't know if I was going to like it. So I just sort of bent 
because they're having a sale as well things were a little bit cheaper so I think it was maybe six dollars for 100 grams of the sock yarn um so I thought why don't I give it a go I get a few a little bit off so why not so that should be here by the end of the week because it's only coming from Shepparton so which is not far from me and usually things that come from there like when I got my yarn from that I ordered from Spotlight that came pretty quickly like within a few days so we'll see anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this ice yarn haul um if you have used any of this yarn let me know what you made in the comments section um I will let you know what I think of this um merino yarn that I got once I start using it um like I said, you'll probably see it popping up here and there. Um, I think... <clears throat> I'm going to have to do a bit of rearranging to get this stuff in the cupboard. Anyway. I'll get there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.